everybody, trademark attorney Josh Gervin. I want to answer a common question we get, which is, what do trademark attorneys do? In today's world, you have a lot of internet-based companies that claim they can file your trademark for $69. So why should you hire a trademark attorney? What can an attorney do for you? So here are the five things that I think trademark attorneys do that add the most value to any trademark application process. The first is identify the trademarks your company has. The second is properly search those trademarks prior to you adopting them or trying to register them with the federal government. The third is to develop a proper filing strategy. The fourth is to correctly draft your application to avoid technical errors that could result in the refusal of your trademark application. And the final is to respond to any office actions or refusals that you may receive along the way. So the first point on our list is that a trademark attorney can help identify the trademarks your company has. And you may say, well, Josh, that seems pretty simple, but it might not be. So obviously you've got your company name, that's typically one. You've got slogans, perhaps, you've got logos. But what about your individual product names or product feature names? What about service names that you may have? What about names for seminars your company may offer? There's, you could even protect the packaging for a product, the way it looks. You could protect the look and feel of a store that you have. There's all sorts of different things you can protect as trademarks, and a good trademark attorney can help you identify what things you can register and add to your IP portfolio, which ultimately adds value to your business over time. The second thing a good trademark attorney can do is conduct trademark searches on your trademarks before you get too far into marketing them and before you even file a trademark application. This way here, you don't waste money on trademark applications that are almost certainly to be refused or you can identify a potential conflict before it gets to be a huge problem. The third thing a good attorney can do is help you with a filing strategy for your trademarks. So an example of this is that we will get a client that calls us and says, hey, I'd like to register my name, logo, and slogan, and here it is all in one neat package. Here's a good example. Let's look at Nike's logo, right? You have Nike, the swoosh, and just do it underneath it. So a lot of clients will think this is one trademark filing, but it's actually three. So you have the name Nike, you have the swoosh itself, and then you have just do it. And the reason you would want to file all three of these elements separately is that A, the protection in each individual element is much stronger if it's registered alone, just from a legal standpoint. And B, if any of these elements changes over time, it won't affect the overall rights of the trademark. So for example, your name may always be Nike, but let's say that swoosh gets outdated, right? And you need to change it. Well, you can change that swoosh and you'll never lose the rights in the word Nike. You would just file a new application for whatever the new swoosh looks like or the, the new logo looks like down the road. So developing that particular filing strategy is something that trademark attorneys do for clients that many clients on their own would not be able to understand because it's just not something they do on a daily basis. The fourth item on our list is that trademark attorneys help draft proper trademark applications that meet the technical specifications of the United States Patent and Trademark Office. It's important to remember that a trademark application is a legal document, and while the questions may sometimes seem innocuous or easy, there's typically a technical response that's required in order for the government to be able to approve your application. So if a trademark attorney drafts your application, you're more likely to see an approval by the government than if you just draft it yourself. You don't have to take my word for this. The University of North Carolina did a study that showed there was nearly a 50% increase in the acceptance rate of applications from people that filed a trademark with an attorney versus doing it without. And the final thing that trademark attorneys do is we help respond to office actions or refusals to a trademark application. So not all trademark applications go smoothly and you may receive a refusal for one reason or another. Uh, it's not the end of the road by far for most trademarks. For example, if you receive a refusal because of a potentially conflicting other trademark, there's a number of things a trademark attorney can evaluate and help you do. For example, could you just draft an appeal? Could we make an argument to the government that would get around the refusal? Or maybe it's a little bit more complicated. Maybe the owner of that blocking registration is no longer using that trademark. An attorney can help you evaluate whether or not that trademark could actually be canceled, allowing your trademark to then proceed. So as you can see, there are many things that trademark attorneys do that can be helpful to developing and securing your trademark and intellectual property portfolio. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll talk to you next time.